Meet the man who helped take down a cyber hacker. He's a journalist who owns his own online news website. Ford Fisher. state does not value the lives of Palestinian people. You know, trans, trans suicide is a, is a giant problem in society. Um, disproportionately more trans people um, com both attempt and commit suicide uh, than cisgender people, and it has to do with, with a culture that teaches trans people that their identities are less than cisgender people. I said her heart cannot bear to receive a phone call to come and identify my body. That if you are a corporation who has been convicted, as BP has been convicted by their own plea of guilty, then to come turn around and donate, mo donate money to try to influence a political campaign is inappropriate. We're out here because we actually stand for the people being represented by our own government, by our own elected officials, and we're going to go where we need to go and do what we need to do to incite civility and reason. This is where um, they ended up shooting Lucy. Um, when we came to look for her, I found two shell casings here, and there was a large puddle of uh, dried blood right here. One of them made it, but one of them, after getting halfway across the river, got caught in a current, and uh, he was just swept off. On Independence Day of last year, I loaded a shotgun at Freedom Plaza in between the White House and the Capitol in an act of defiance against all of the gun laws in America that impinge on our rights that are allegedly protected under the Second Amendment, but more importantly, are our fundamental human rights as, as human beings who own ourselves, who are not slaves to anyone else. You were addicted to real drugs, prostitutes. Uh, do you think that money was an addiction just like any of those other things? Not, no, I don't think money's an addiction. I think money's an amazing thing. I still love money and I still go out and make a lot and I, I try to earn money. So I don't think money to itself is evil or I think money is not evil. Well, it's a great thing. With money you can do wonderful things. And I know they try to label me a domestic terrorist or some nonsense like that. But I'm the farthest from it.
Is, uh, is our freedom at stake? Of it's course our, it is. It's our freedom. Can you tell us how? Oh, listen, in every way possible, we're being threatened all over the world. Is freedom at stake, Senator? Freedom is always at stake. And we are never more than one generation away from losing our freedom. We love it. We love the people. We love the people. We are representing values that the vast majority of Muslims believe in, in tolerance and in uh, working together to build rather than to destroy. Or would you build a wall and make America pay for it? Every, every election season, um, there are people who swear that if the candidate they don't like gets elected, they're moving to Canada. When politicians accept torture, even of the innocent, as necessary, then lovers of liberty must rise. It was incredible how it, it cuts across political lines. It's not just liberal, uh, you know, it's not just liberals coming out to, to oppose a war. It's interesting because Obama's president. Given that the Green Party is not going to be accepting corporate donations, how do you plan on competing with the Republicans and Democrats who both have an enormous amount of corporate backing? There is a point at which that money becomes very uh, counterproductive. What um, would be your message to a Republican who's not happy with their nominee? Absolutely. You know, I think in many ways, uh, libertarians, conservatives, and Greens really converge around the things that are most fundamental and most important to us both. All right, back to issues. Ford Fisher sent us this video. Small government Republicans who are unhappy with Republican candidates may have a very clear reason to vote Libertarian. How would you sell yourself as the Libertarian nominee to disenfranchise Democrat voters? Governor Johnson. Uh, uh, disenfranchise uh, Democrat voters. Yeah, man, it's great having Ford on here, man. Dude, really is. Ford is the man. He is the man.